Hello there, Gemini friends. How are you? Did you miss me? <laughs> I missed you guys. I love you, Gemini friends. When I was actually getting ready to, to click on the video, I was um, thinking about that. And then I thought about that part from uh, Orange Juice Jones when he was like, I missed you so much. I followed you today. <laughs> Now close your mouth because you cold busted. <laughs> I don't know what that has to do with this reading. I hope nothing. Anyway, I love you guys. And do you know why? Because you all have contributed to us being over 1,000 subscribers. I am so grateful for you guys clicking, subscribing, loving me as much as I love you. Um, all I wanted to do was be uh, build a community of love and light, add my little piece of light to the world. And you have helped me to do that. And you guys know if you are returning that I do a free reading raffle every 100 subscribers. We are going to do that. Actually, I'm going to do it tomorrow. Tomorrow is Sunday, August 25th. The video will be uploaded. I'm, I'll, I always do the drawings live and then the video is just there so people can check it. But I am creating a way for you guys to check the winner's circle to see who has won a free 30 minute recorded reading. Okay. Um, so thank you so much for everything you guys, and we're going to continue growing. I love you dearly. Um, I am still running that $11 and 22 cent recorded reading special until the end of August. So jump on that before that ends. Um, click on the link in the description box, Gemini. Also check your sun, moon, rising and Venus signs because that, that can impact how you um, view readings um, and how they come out for you. If you need to check your birth or natal chart, you can do that at cafeastrology.com. Okay. All right, you guys. So Holy Spirit, thank you for my Gemini friends. I pray for the highest level of divine guidance for them. Thank you for the clarity that you have given me that exceeds any other moment in time. I thank you for this time with them. Thank you, Archangel, Spirit Guides of the highest, most precious, divine, and holy order. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. All right, Gemini. So Goddess Artemis came out. Guardian, you are divinely protected. You and your loved ones are safe and divinely protected. That's beautiful. And then Goddess Irene, which is peace. And it says, there is no need to worry, Gemini, as everything is working out beautifully. And when I see this card, a lot of times it makes me think of a, uh, a baby and a mother or a child-parent relationship. You could be worried about a child. Here, they are protected. They are safe. Okay? Um, underneath that card was a card regarding the arts. Um, let's get one from your angel guidance deck here. Gemini, and this is for August, the last week of August, okay? Um, time is fluid, you guys, so just keep that in mind. But any guidance from this angel guidance deck, Holy Spirit, for my Gemini friends, now through the end of August, August 24th through the 31st. Any messages from my Gemini friends? August 24th through the 31st. Okay. So we have assertiveness, Gemini, and this says this situation can be healed gently and with love as you've requested. Yet there's also a need for your strength and truthfulness with the other people involved. We will stand right behind you as you speak your truth, giving you strength and guiding your words. So this is oftentimes my speak the truth in love card. Um, you may need to tell someone the truth about a talent. Um, I feel like you have a pie pipe of personality as well. And then time to go, Gemini. It says that sun sets and rises each day. And it's the same with the avenues in your life. See the beauty within each sunset in your life and know that the sun will also rise again tomorrow. Endings are merely the start of a new beginning. And we are with you through each phase and cycle. All right. And yeah, let your past go came out. Let your past go. All righty. And then the last card on notes from the universe on love and connections is you are adored. 
Gemini, it says, don't be fooled by the players and don't be fooled by yourself. There's no one more lovable nor loved than you. And I know everyone love the universe. So let's get into your spread, Gemini, and see what these guidance cards are all about. Remember, energy is changed, interchangeable. We're reading the energy, not necessarily the gender of the cards. So this is heartbreak right off the rip. Uh, swords energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, heartbreak. Time to leave a situation. Um, I think that you will have peace. If you're wondering, I mean, it's real clear. Let your past go. You will have more peace if you let the past go. Don't worry. Let it go. Time to go. And there's a zero. Take a leap of faith. Take a leap of faith, Gemini. It is, I mean, there's, this is could be a real, real specific reading for somebody. But what is clear is that it is time to go. Now, you could be worried about your child or children. Um, this angel looks pregnant to me when I see this card. Then there's innocence that came up. You may be wondering how this will impact your children if you leave. Um, this angel has a child in its arms, and so does this angel. I think that you are being reassured that your children are protected and will be okay. But it is time for you to make a move. It is time for you to go, Gemini. All right, what is the crossing energy here, Holy Spirit? I feel like you're telling someone that you're leaving. It's time to tell somebody you're leaving. What is the crossing energy for my Gemini friends, Holy Spirit? The world, a beginning, an ending. This is a things being wrapped up by the universe and it is time to go. There is a bright, beautiful new future ahead of you leaving this heartbreak behind and immature energy, gossip, slander, spying on somebody. Don't worry about it because it's a tower moment. It's a tower moment. You don't have to spy. Focus on you. Focus on your new path. Focus on what the divine has for you. Don't worry about what they're doing. I think some of this, it is maybe third party. Um, somebody could have a baby with somebody else. Um, it's, it's time to go. That's the, that's the point. Not how they got involved with them, what the person was wearing, what kind of cologne do they wear. Was she prettier than me, smarter than me, he he more handsome? Did he have a beard or a mustache and I don't have one? It doesn't matter. It's time to leave. At the foundation of the reading is a king of pentacles. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Um, finances could be a concern for you. Wondering, you know, you could be well established or being concerned about being established. In your recent past, the three of wands, waiting for your ships to come in. Having an optimistic view of the future. That also is Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo energy. But if somebody could be at a distance from you that you're dealing with, um, they live in another part of the world, a different country, a different state, but somebody is at a distance from you. Queen of Wands energy, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. This is the mistress card. Um, you may be telling somebody, I know about your mistress. I know about your other person. Um you could be having the affairs, a hot, fiery person. But I feel like this sword's energy, like you're not saying anything and you're being encouraged to say something. You are being encouraged to be assertive, speak the truth in love. And it's OK to let somebody know I'm not taking this. You are divinely protected. Your angels are with you it's in the near future for Gemini. And I'm not knowing you guys, you know, Mercury re-energy sign. I'm not knowing you to not be able to speak you may huh interesting mercury is the planet of uh communication clear thought clear communication what's the near future for my gemini friends holy spirit curious 
So the full card, yeah, taking a leap of faith, it, leaving. This is your near future, leaving. Somebody is not telling the truth. Somebody is being dishonest, less than honest. Uh, there is some indecisiveness, indecision, something going on behind your back as well. Um, but there is a clarion call. This is a major arcana card as well as the full. There is being judgment is being called on the situation. It's time to call something out, call a thing a thing make a move don't stay in limbo this is limbo to me too uh, as well as a hangman because you don't want to see the truth and so you just stay you got to make a judgment you got to make a decision it's going to be fair and it's going to be just things are going to work out in your favor if you are married and you're thing so if you're married and you're leaving justice has brought this to pass but see how justice is blind and so is this too this too of sorts things are falling out the way they were supposed to it's a tower moment justice is blind it's not personal it's the way it has to be something wasn't handled correctly something wasn't done correctly and so this is the way karma works my friends okay uh, money is gonna be okay and you are gonna be okay single this nine of pentacles is Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. Energy is you or them. But somebody's going to be all right single. They have enough money. It's enough saved up that you will be able to start new, fresh, be an entrepreneur. If this is about a career move, that you will be successful on your own. Getting the rewards, the accolades, and everything that you have worked so diligently for. But you have to leave a toxic situation behind gemini that is very clear very clear very clear um what energy is gemini bringing to the table what energy is gemini bringing to the table or to this situation how does gemini see this situation holy spirit How does Gemini see the situation? I just feel a very strong energy, like no holds barred. Speak your truth. Say what you got to say. Let somebody know you're coming. If that's what you're doing, hey, I'm on my way. I'm leaving on a jet plane. Don't know when I'll be back again. <laughs> okay. Seriously. Seriously. Um, oh, yeah. I walk away from this mess. I done got mad. I don't even know what's going on. Okay. Um, judgment and justice came up again. Judgment and justice. It is divine judgment and it is just. It's fair. Leaving is fair, in case you were wondering. Is it fair for me to... Yep, it's fair. Absolutely. Alrighty, so. Page of Swords. This is... Um, the spy card, it is gossip, it is indirect communication. It's not being direct. It's like uh, third party communication kind of stuff. This is your energy, Gemini, like, um, and working hard. So it could be you heard about a work relationship or you heard about something at work or whatever, and it sends you into this. Um, you heard about something going on at work. It's, I feel like it's work related, but it puts you in this anxious, anxious energy where you can't sleep at night. You're up at night thinking about it and anxiety and wondering if things are going to work out fairly. And they are. Things will work out divinely in your favor. How is Gemini being viewed, Holy Spirit? I'm getting to somebody thinks you're a fool or vice versa. You think somebody's a fool. It's one or the other. What in the environment is influencing the situation, Holy Spirit? Okay, so Four of Pentacles, this is being very conservative with your resources. You're worried that you won't have enough and heightened intuition heightened intuition um you're worried you're worried which is why you got the guidance you need not worry everything is going to work out fine everything is going to be okay 
yeah things are working in your behalf behind the scenes you don't even know about it you are divinely protected and watched over all right so your hopes and fears gemini are a knight of cups an offer of love being offered to someone and being stabbed in the back you could be concerned that your person is making an offer to someone or you feel stabbed in the back because someone else got an offer, something like that. There is a chariot here, which is a victory. It's also about making a choice and it's going somewhere. It is time for you to go. I mean, it's time to go. It is time to move forward. What is the potential outcome, Holy Spirit? What is the saddle up your horses? We've got a trail to blaze. That just came to me. Some of you are trailblazers in a particular area. Hmm. It could be a creative venture as well. You are somebody could be working on something work related that is blazing a trail. You have a good idea. Some of you have a good idea. And it's like, you know what, this heartbreak or whatever this was, disappointment made you have a clear plan of action. You developed a clear plan of action and a clear strategy to move forward. At the you no longer no longer feeling stuck and saying what you need to say. All righty. Let's get some clarifiers here. All right, Holy Spirit, thank you for the highest level of guidance. What is this Three of Swords about in this world card? What is this Three of Swords? Thank you. So someone was left out in the cold. And it is time to go. The chariot again. Got the chariot twice. It's time to go. It's time to go overseas. Maybe you weren't making money somewhere where you were. So it's time to do international business for some of you. It is time to set your sights on something else. Uh, but it's definitely time to venture out. Like Jupiter is direct in Sagittarius right now, which is a planet of expansion, growth, wealth, whatever. So if something was a huge disappointment to you, it's time to move to fresh waters, get a new perspective. This King of Wands, maybe you're moving towards a King of Wands, which is Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, or they're moving towards you. What's this King of Pentacles, Holy Spirit? Three of Cups, third party. I feel like somebody heard about an affair, heard that something was going on. There are several threes here. And it could be an affair that started at work. The emperor is here at the bottom of the deck. A supervisor, maybe. Somebody was messing around with somebody that is in a higher position than they were in or you were messing around with somebody in a higher position someone successful i feel like you're gonna land on your feet though what's this three of wands holy spirit i think some of you were waiting to hear from someone but it's not gonna happen ten of pentacles here waiting to get some news or information about money uh, a house like a, a great opportunity like a happily ever after kind of thing like you were waiting to get news your expectation that was for this big stable beautiful life with someone that you were seeing this is this is your card gemini this is like i think this is my person this is my opportunity this is a choice that i'm making and breakthrough this is going to provide me with stability for the rest of my life and a need to be strong having your hopes up your hopes were up are up 
What's the Queen of Wands? There's a secret. It's going to come out. What's the Queen of Wands, Holy Spirit? Yep, something's going to come to an end. Came to an end abruptly. Came to an end. It's done. Okay. So the King of Cups, very loving. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, energy. Maybe it is letting them know what is going on. Speaking the truth and love to them or them letting you know the Empress showed up which is the counterpart to the emperor. But this is about being single. This is about success, entrepreneurship. Some of you are being encouraged to become entrepreneurs, to leave whatever it is you were doing. You've been working hard as an entrepreneur, and now it is time to be to, to, to start your business. This is a major arcana card. Um, this is like Mother Earth, Mother Nature. Um, uh, a nurturing type energy is success for sure. A successful new rebirth kind of thing. And this came up before, Gemini. You're going to land on your feet. This is balanced, stable energy. Yep, a brand new golden opportunity awaits you, Gemini. Wow. I just see a lot of success. Five of Wands, clarifying the High Priestess and the Four of... So there could have been some disagreement, some talk about something with a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, perhaps. But some type of disagreement, not seeing eye to eye with someone. The Knight of Cups, this Five of Swords is something being dead in the water. Not even getting off the ground is what came to me. And the Seven of Swords came up again, walking away, very fly by night, lays off fair, uh, not planting any seeds. It's not, uh, this relationship is not about longevity. It's about, and it could be you, Gemini, like sort of walking away. It's justice, not planting any seeds, sort of like bouncing around kind of energy, right? Going wherever you are led or wherever the wind blows. And the outcome is the wheel of fortune. The end of a karmic cycle and the beginning of a brand new cycle, Gemini. The bottom of the deck is a prince of wands. Ending something maybe with a younger fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. This is something dying it's a tower moment. For you, it could be driving you absolutely bonkers. This indecision is driving you crazy. But you'll have to end something in order to see the sun come out. Um, this is illumination. This situation is going to be illuminated. It's going to come out. So I feel like it is better to end the situation and to be assertive, speak the truth in love and tell someone about it or let somebody's body know that you are leaving. Speak the truth in love, but it's letting the past go. Let this old shit go because you have a brand, you get a brand new inspiration. You get real clear in your mind and it brings you happiness, joy and peace. When you let your past go, peace comes to you. You are divinely watched over. You are divinely watched over, Gemini. And you will reemerge as this king again. You will be able to communicate. You will be able to reign. Build your, build your kingdom on logic, intellect, resourcefulness. You can do this. You could do it. Speak your truth in love. Stand up in your king or queen energy, Gemini. Say what needs to be said and do what needs to be done. And get the heck up out of Dodge. It is time to go. I love you guys dearly. 
like share subscribe let me know how this resonates with you i love you with everything in me wishing you the best praying for the best possible outcome that you be the greatest version of yourself embrace the peace that is being offered to you take advantage of that 1122 special um I do live readings as well. The price is not $11.22, but I am here for you. I love you guys dearly. God bless.